So you've been studying the entire semester for your upcoming CSEC and CAPE examinations. But have you considered how you're going to decode the questions or how you're going to regurgitate the answers on the paper? No, right? No worries. Here are some tips on how to effectively answer your paper two questions so you can save time and feel relaxed while sitting your final examinations. Stay tuned. Disha, head tutor here at Disha's Online Academy, DOA, and I'm on a quest to help my Caribbean Blue Bloods get the most marks on their paper too. Recall my previous video? Mm -hmm. I showed you a winning study plan, but now I'm going to show you how to answer your paper two questions with the knowledge gain using my study plan. All right, first things first. I can't stress enough on how it is important to read each question thoroughly. Now I know you are excited. You've been anticipating this paper the whole semester. Calm down. You will not be able to answer a question appropriately if you don't take the time out to understand what the question is asking. Now to understand what a question is saying, the first thing you need to do is to look for keywords. Keywords that will help you to weigh the responses. What are some examples of these keywords? Define, describe, list, state, evaluate, analyze, suggest, you know them. Let's talk a little bit about these keywords. If a question asks you to discuss something, it requires you to write about that thing in detail. For example, discuss the role of four types of tissues found in plant roots. What are you going to do? That's right. You are going to identify the four types of plant tissues and then write about their roles in detail. But what about if you get a question that asks you to distinguish between two things? What would you do? Right. You'd write about what is different about the two things. Careful now, students tend to want to use definitions to distinguish two things. Please don't do that. Just focus on what is different between the two things. Similarly, Questions often require students to compare. When you get questions that ask you to compare, you will not only provide differences, but you would provide, that's right, similarities too. And we know for our paper too, some questions are going to be lighter than some. We have other questions asking you to state, list, illustrate, or define. These questions require you to be succinct, writing out clear-cut answers. After you have identified keywords in the questions that will help you to weigh the answers, then you proceed to look at the subject of the question. Underline it because it's going to help you to, to construct your answers. Now, one last thing. Before you answer your paper two questions, slow down. Take a minute to think about what you're going to write. Take a minute to brainstorm. Think about what you have covered about the subject in your classes or in your readings. In addition, at the end of writing your answers for each question, take another minute to read over your response. This is important because you'll be able to recognize your mistakes, correct those mistakes, like inappropriate grammar and punctuations, perfecting that response to gain maximum marks. Notice I didn't tell you about time saving. Don't worry about that. 
once you employ these strategies as you maneuver the paper tool you will be done in no time and you will not just be saving time you'll be submitting a paper free of poor responses all right guys thanks for watching this video i can't wait to see your c second cape results this year is going to be special i can feel it remember to subscribe and stay tuned for some upcoming review videos Bye.